hello, welcome to the Chippewa Falls Museum of Industry and Technology. We're located at 21 East Grand Avenue in downtown Chippewa Falls. The collection that we have at the museum uh, that is probably our keystone collection is the Seymour Cray supercomputers. However, in the last year, the museum has worked hard to incorporate some new businesses and bring in some new exhibits to the museum to really expand the idea of uh, industrial progress and highlight some of the companies that really made a difference here in Chippewa Falls. This room is uh, the Mason Company's room and it traces the history of the Mason Company uh, which was really referred to earlier as the Mason Shoe Company uh, from 1904 forward until, 19, until 2008. So just over a hundred years. The original Mason Company was a lumber company and uh, after uh, supplying, after seeing, realizing the need for lumberjacks to have good sturdy shoes uh, the early Mason Com family decided that they would become a shoe company as well as a lumber company. And so started Mason Shoes uh, supplying lumberjacks originally. In fact, on display we have an early pair of cork shoes, what they call corks, which are uh, shoes that the lumberjacks used that had nails in the sole so that they could grip on the logs as they were uh, uh, manipulating the logs down the, down the river. Around the room, um, the display traces the history of shoemaking in the, com in the uh, city of Chippewa Falls. You'll recognize some of the larger pictures, show some of the factories that are still, uh, buildings that are still extant today in Chippewa Falls that you can find as you drive around. And in the center, some artifacts, some early shoes. We have uh, quite a collection here and it, and it all highlights what goes on, uh, things that are made in Chippewa Falls. W.S. Garley is a uh, important industry here in uh, Chippewa Falls, they make fire trucks and actually what they do is that they um, buy the truck from its, the supplier and then they outfit the truck and turn it from a regular truck into a fire truck. And the importance of fire trucks, um, not the engine of the truck itself but the pump that drives the water. So if you can imagine how important it is if a fire truck pulls up at your house and it has huge amount of pressure so it can shoot water out put the fire out on the roof of your house. You'll understand the importance of a fire truck. Uh, here's an example of an impeller which acts as though it's a propeller. Um, this is brass, very heavy. Uh, this is actually fitted inside the pump and this is what spins and therefore forces the water out uh, of the hose in onto the fire. So the importance of fire trucks is actually the interior, what's put inside. At the back of the room you can see an example, it's a teaching example of a fire truck uh, pump. Um, Darley makes fire trucks that are sent worldwide. A few years ago there were, they made 12 uh, trucks for the African country of Ghana. And for those of you who may have been at the Christmas parade that year, Santa Claus arrived on one of those fire trucks. They were huge, it was massive. Uh, they, went, they were sent to Ghana. Uh, occasionally in Chippewa Falls as you're driving around you'll meet a fire truck that's out being driven and tested and uh, sometimes it'll have the name of where it's going, maybe Plano, Texas or Arkansas, you'll never know. You never know where they're all sending their, their uh, equipment, but it goes worldwide. A very important um, company, originally from Chicago. Uh, during the Depression, um, a portion of the company was moved here to Chippewa Falls to supply employment and they've been here ever since and they've expanded and have become just a real seminal part. So we're real pleased to have a Darley equipment here on display in the museum. Well, we were standing here in the Kell room and Kell Container now has a new name. They are actually called Great Northern Corporation. Um, and in Chippewa Falls, they refer to this, this area as the Kell uh, facility, though the Kell site. So Great Northern Corporation, Kell site. Um, Kell Containers started here in Chippewa Falls and uh, they were leaders, really leaders in the production of corrugated paper. And corrugated paper is so important that it's not really what we, a lot of people call it cardboard, but really corrugated paper has the, uh, the curvy wavy line in the center that actually kind of forms the triangle. And if any of you have studied science, you know how strong the triangle is in terms of shape. And so the, around the room you'll get an idea by the design that they've installed here is that it's the wavy triangular shape between the two pieces of cardboard 
that make it firm and strong. And it's something that we use all of our life now and uh, find it incredible. I don't think we could survive without cardboard. We can stack it up, we can make uh, tables out of it. As you see right here, there's tables that are good enough in the museum that we can actually put things on and stand it for display. Um, all of our beverages, um, all of our um, equipment, if you buy a new television or you buy a new DVD player, whatever, when you look at the box that uh, contains it, it will have uh, corrugated paper in it. And that's what Kel was so instrumental in developing. And uh, right here in Chippewa Falls, another industry that really set the world afire. Well, now we're standing in a room uh, dedicated to Hubbard Scientific. And Hubbard Scientific is a, a very uh, famous science company. And if you've ever been to a school in the United States and you've ever done any kind of a science experiment, odds are you've used something from Hubbard Scientific. Um, their, their big uh, product that everyone will recognize are uh, relief maps that are made uh, with vacuum. They're, they're sucked down onto a, a vacuum form. And so if you've ever gone up to a classroom and touched a relief map that shows you the Himalayas or Wisconsin or uh, South America, odds are it was made here, right here in Chippewa Falls. They also make all sorts of science helps for teachers. So we have an example of a tornado uh, demonstration. So if you try to teach kids about swirling uh, um, wind, that makes tornadoes, here's a good way to teach them. We also have all sorts of hands-on things from, from skeletons to uh, electrical generators that can actually fire up and make a light bulb work. Um, Hubbard has a huge, huge catalog and if you haven't seen what uh, that they have available, it's uh, just fascinating. So uh, actually for a science museum, this is uh, a perfect uh, thing to have for kids to come and see all the different things that uh, they, they'll recognize when they're in, quote, formal science class. If you want to visit the museum, we have new hours of, of, of open. We are open from Tuesday through Friday from 11 in the morning until 4 in the afternoon. And on Saturdays, we're open from 10 o'clock in the morning until 4 p.m. So we welcome everyone to come to the museum. The charge of admission is $3 for adults and $1 for children very reasonable for all the things that you get to see and do here.